Hello everyone, this is Rocco going back at you with uh, 10.6.1 10 uh, update. Uh, you saw my last video was um, doing dark night roads. I drove all the way from Jefferson, North Carolina all the way to Asheville, obviously. And um, this is going to do our blind turn test, test, if you will. Uh, the drive back were 90%, well, yeah, like 90% two lane roads. Uh, phantom braking is better, not fixed for sure. Uh, and it actually had some traffic for once, there you go. And so uh, it made it. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna, ooh, we got flashing red. How's this? Lights are out. It's the first time I've come to this with, um, uh, full self-driving. I don't know if it knows how to do... Okay. I think it made that just by chance. I mean, it treats it like a four-way stop, which is what it should do. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Um, like I was saying, with the phantom break-in is not resolved on this update. Improved, but not resolved. We're gonna standardize this test to do um, we're gonna do three left turns and two right turns uh, is how we're gonna standardize this test and the test after this does the third right turn test not sure what this guy's doing I'm not entirely positive if I'm not sure why we're slowing down so much. I'm not entirely positive if 6.1, 10.6.1, is really all that different. Hey, here we go. I didn't do, yeah, I didn't do anything until now. I'm pressing it because it's just the side of the stop. Oh, it's because our navigation point. So yeah, it did all that on its own. That's awesome. I'm hoping it continues to do that. That's what we want to see is that it should... Just stay doing that. That's obviously not a disengagement. Um, so is that the first? We made that whole loop without any disengagement. That's freaking awesome. Um, let's go ahead and do it again. Get this off here so you can see better. See how it does. That traffic coming. Great, let's see how it handles this full. Um, temporary four-way stop. It's stopping too far back again. See, this is accurate. It... Okay. That was not our turn. So I'm going to count that because I'm trying to push... Oh. The... Perhaps I chose the wrong road. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to review the footage. I'm not gonna count that disengagement if that was my fault. Uh, otherwise, if it's the map's fault, I will count it. This turn does seem to be improved. So far, both times it turned well. See, right here, it, it stops so abruptly. I, I just wish it would um, slow more uh, um, smoothly, essentially, uh, instead of so abrupt. It's like. It thinks it's closer than it really is to that truck, and it just jams on the brake. It can easily come to it, like, I guess if you let off full region, you can easily uh, just come to a stop. Okay, I'm pressing it to give it some confidence so we can get through this intersection here. Let's see if we can make the turn again. Fortunately, there's no one coming towards me or behind me, so I can, can let it do its thing. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we need to—I need to put this marker a little bit further up. Now your destination is on the left. So, so we're gonna come past here, and we're gonna go do another test to the right. See how it does with a blind right. We'll do this one, another left turn, and then another right turn. See how it does. 
We got some traffic for sure coming from the left. It's not even trying to go. That's all, that's all the car. I'm hovering my foot above the brake just in case. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's not. I need to get into this lane. It's still not doing it. I need to turn sharper. And this weird loop. Ha. <laughs> Car's doing everything right now. Now turn right onto Broadway Street. It, it's odd because it seems improved. Feet, it really does. I think last time we did this was overcast. So perhaps like a completely sunny day is better, even with the shadows. Um, you would think now it wouldn't be. Right West Walnut Street. This turn keeps on failing for some reason. It turns too wide. And it turns into the lane where that car is sitting. And it's just, it does it almost every time now. We're gonna go through this light because, right there, it doesn't turn sharp enough. And it, it's just gonna straight up go into that car. Now turn right onto Carolina Lane. Okay. Again, hand gestures. People are gonna have to eventually. I mean, is what uh, one or two things are gonna happen? Um, we're gonna have autonomous cars that are just gonna be jerks, basically, and not uh, let anyone uh, pay attention. Uh, there's a guy behind me. We're basically gonna be jerks and not let anyone um, wave us on, and just gonna be like not pay attention to what anyone has to do, uh, or. We're just gonna have to read, uh, have to read hand gestures. Um, I don't know any other way to do it uh, besides that. Uh, hand gestures, it, it's gonna take a lot of processing power to be able to do that. The, the task of driving is relatively simple. To read human expression is very difficult. Uh, and that, such a gray area to me. It seems like it's not gonna be allowed on the level four, but maybe with geofencing and certain routes, that would be allowed. But level five, you you have to have, um, you have got to have hand gestures and be able to read human expressions and everything else. And that's why I'm start. There you go. <laughs> Perfect example. Yes. One there you go. Hi everyone, I just wanted to draw attention to this particular issue. This is the B pillar issue I and many others have been talking about. This is the very first frame in the video that can see the car. You'll see on the very left side of the screen, you can see the car starting to be displayed. That is literally how far my car is out in the road before it's able to see traffic coming. That car couldn't have been better placed to show this issue. If the other guy was not paying attention, that absolutely would have resulted in a wreck. Well, guy, we got that on video. Um... That is a perfect example of why the B-pillar has a limitation. I don't know if... Yeah, there's lights blinking too. So, I braked. That car, that guy wasn't paying attention at all. Unless his light was green for some reason. I'm pretty sure his, theirs is a blinking yellow. Unless mine was a blinking red, um, and theirs is green. We're gonna have to pay attention to that. We're gonna do that one more time. Um, In 500 feet, your destination. Yeah, will be that's um, that's a very dangerous situation. If that, if my light is blinking red, it's blinking red on the other side too. I'm just looking at it now. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be. That's not a very good situation. If the other light is green and mine's blinking red, because that. Both sides need to be able to blink. Okay, so it it's like trying to go around this car here. It's 
Still trying to do it. I'm going to try and look down the street here to see what's going on with this light. There's his blinking yellow. Not red, but it is blinking yellow. That guy just didn't... Made it again. I guess. And because my destination is too close, this is why it keeps on... Um, uh, it keeps on... Uh, stopping right there. It wants to stop at the destination. Okay. We're going to do one more left turn. And then we'll actually let's just do one more one more right turn. Then we'll do one more left. It's a Model X in front of us, I believe. Oh yeah. Okay. No. Now to I'm actually going to start pressing it forward because we can actually turn. Um, yeah, I should have done that earlier, to be honest. I was just kind of sitting there. Um, okay. Girl walking in the middle of the road. And then... Keep on disengaging at this spot until it fixes it. It used to do it great. This um, turn right here used to do it fine. By now, every single time for the last few updates, it just can't do this turn any longer. It's really interesting. See that? That did it. It still crossed the yellow line is the problem. Now turn right onto Carolina Lane. Oh, God. Okay. I really hate that how it jams on the brake when you're in, when you're Lane pressing the accelerator the and you're in traffic aware cruise control after you disengage. Uh, it just jams on the brake constantly when you're traffic aware cruise control. I just wish it would disable at slower speeds. It shouldn't go in the traffic aware cruise control it should just start slowing down and i think there's a lot of people who complain about that online to where they almost get in the wrecks because they don't realize the car then will reaccelerate afterwards because they're in traffic aware cruise control there's supposed to be a future update that's supposed to chime at you after it disengages to let you know that happened okay let's go through this one more time I, I've noticed it goes to the left side to make the right turn and goes to the right side to make the left turn. Oh, crap. Um. <laughs> why, why was this guy running up the sidewalk? Oh, that's right. They have a blinking yellow. So... They have a blink. <laughs> okay, that's right. Blinking yellow is just a caution, so you can just go through it. I don't know why I was thinking you would stop like a four-way stop with blinking yellow. That's exactly why. That's really dangerous. Um, really dangerous, actually. I'm hoping they have someone fix that soon. So that's going to be the end of this test. Well, once we get down here, it will be. Uh, I, I think it did well. There's definitely marked improvements. Now Whether or not that has to do with the dot one increase, maybe they've changed the neural net some. They've obviously fixed something. They wouldn't have released it if um, there wasn't some fixes in it, or changes at least. Um, the, it's, it definitely makes, it makes this turn Carolina line, Lane every single time now. So clearly someone had looked at that. Uh, thankfully This test really has some good good um, Differences 
for uh, now turn left onto Carolina that had that Lane. weird four-way stop and where just the traffic was um, the traffic lights were wrong basically okay that one if it wasn't so hesitant would have been fine <laughs> Destination is on the left. Um, it would have gone through it between the pedestrians and then the cars coming. It just kind of freaked out. Um, otherwise, I think there's that this is slight improvements. Um, obviously, this perfectly showed that's what I wanted to capture. It perfectly shows the B pillar limitation. I eventually am going to make a like, more dedicated video just to that to show the B pillar limitation. Um, but I look for that in the future if you are interested in seeing that go ahead and give me a subscribe i appreciate you coming back and commenting down below appreciate all the conversation we can have uh if you have any questions for me again put the comments down below and i'll see you in the next one thanks everyone bye